Once a God-forsaken city where the bodies of angels littered the streets, much has changed in Santa Destroy. Giant corporations, rampant city development, the assassin's underworld has become a commodity, a chance for profit and entertainment for the masses. But shadows from the wilder days still linger. Travis, a man who slashed his way to the top then walked away, has become an urban legend many even doubt was real. Here, the strong devour the weak, the weak kneel before the strong, and those who wield true power watch and count their gold. And in this mass-produced savagery, one truth is constant. With each shattered life, the same vow is uttered, I will have revenge. And no assassin can ever walk away from that. He must draw his beam and stand against the madness. This is Travis Touchdown's Desperate Struggle. Hold it, you violence-loving bastards. Before you start your desperate struggling, you should drop a nice save. I'll never forget that night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. It's called fashionably late fuckface. Travis, touchdown. This place bring back any memories? It's only where my last killing spree started. All those screwed up ranking fights. Now why would I remember that? It'll be your blood this time, when I avenge my brother! Draw! Brother? Who? Don't you remember the man you fought here? Um, no. Can't say I do. Guess he didn't make an impression. Must have been crazy weak. You insensitive prick! You killed him and you don't even remember! You know how humiliating that is? Sorry. I don't keep a death diary. And in case you're wondering, I'm even stronger now. You will lose! You've got no chance of winning this. <clears throat> You're something else. I haven't been so worked up in ages. When you see your bro in hell, tell him he's still a douche! Brace yourself! Go! 
Hello? What would you like me to do? So, it's you again. I know, because you never say a word. It reminds me of the ocean. Your calm breaths. Like the faint sound of waves. You know, I used to love the beach. Hmm. So what should I tell you this time? Oh, it was snowing today. It's strange what triggers our memories. I'll never forget. That night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. Blanketed in white, the city never looked so beautiful. But anything so pristine must be cursed. White turned to red, and he lost his mind. You won't get away with this! Damn it. Oh, you bastard! What? I'm gonna get you! Yeah! Don't die! Don't die! Bring it up! Ah! you! Stop! What? what? <laughs> So 
So, you finally resumed work as an assassin, and still a hygiene-impaired slob, I see. Sylvia? Is that it? You gotta be kidding. I haven't seen you in three years, and that's the welcome I get? How about you fill us in on everything that's happened since the last game? We're not gonna be satisfied until you do, right? Oh, give me a break. There are people starting from the sequel who don't care about continuity, you know. Besides, it would take forever if I recapped every detail of your fall from greatness. Players would skip it. It's so boring. Well, I... I guess you got a point there. Sometimes you have to look at things from different angles. Now, may I? This man was the 51st ranked assassin. Since you've killed him, that officially makes you 51st. And that means you are qualified to fight in the ranking battles again. So, how about it? If you're a real man, you'll do anything to climb back on top. Because trust me, the view is still very satisfying. Hold on. Why would I have to start from rank 51 this time? More competition. The last game's success made assassination trendy. Yeah, but I already fought my way to number one before. Shouldn't I get a special fast track to the title fight? No, but you will get a special prize. Shut up. You can't bribe me this time. I've already tasted those goods. But just a taste. This time, you'll get the five-course meal. Five-course? Mm. Wait, I don't get what that means. Did you know I am a yoga master? Hmm? You, you don't say. Are you familiar with any yoga positions? Like, uh, down... Downward dog? The dog can do all sorts of things. So can the cobra, the rabbit. C cobra? Rabbit? Like together? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. I'm in it to win, baby. Number one, here I come. Hey, we're not done yet. I've got a message for you. Oh my, he's still alive. Pain in my ass. Why aren't you dead yet? Such blind arrogance. Like the naked emperor. Seriously? I cut off your head? Travis! You are the loser. This fight was only part of our plan. Our plan? I said I'd avenge you killing my brother, didn't I? Well, who's been a brother to you? What? Travis. Don't think you can kill without suffering consequences. To kill someone is not simply to end their life. One must risk their entire being in order to destroy another's. Up until now, you've had it easy. I've taken the curse you gave me, the shackles of revenge, and I'm throwing them back on you. Now it's your turn to be burdened with another's death. It has destroyed me, and it will destroy you, too! This is the ultimate vengeance! Hiroshima say I was just uh doing inventory. Help you find something? Nah. We're just here to collect. Travis.
The heavenly dust returned to its maker, leaving in its place a blanket of sadness that covered Santa Destroy. Then the sun returned, and with it, deafening gunfire and clanking swords, the battles had resumed. Demons disguised as men running wild in an orgy of ultraviolence as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have set up the next ranking fight. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop! I understand. Wait for me at Burger Suplex. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Whew, that was close. 
close. Thank <laughs> you. 